And what does it stand for? NLP. N stands for neuro, our neurology, the wiring in our brain. That is very simply said, what's going on in your brain? The hard wiring, the connection between your nerve cells. Everything is connected. Your brain's connected to function. It is amazing what goes on in your brain. Billions and billions of nerve cells connected with each other, running the show that make it possible that your heart beats without you ever having to think about it. It digests your food. It makes my arm doing what it's doing right now. It's just a miracle what our brain does for us on a daily basis and it's all hardwired. What we have believed in the past is that the hardwiring can't be changed. Once you reach a certain age, you can't learn new tricks, that kind of stuff. That is all old news now. We do believe that we can change our neurology to the day we die. There's always new stuff growing, old stuff going away. There's always change and transformation going on. And that is a really powerful place to be in right now. And saying, yeah, we can actually proactively do something about our neurology. So this is the hard wiring. Then L stands for language. These are our language patterns. And in NLP, we go as far to say, it also includes not only the words we are speaking, it's also the inflection of our tone, it's the volume. So everything that goes into, goes into the auditory channel, as well as the pictures we're making, that's part of our language, it's part of our expressing ourselves, as well as how we're moving our body in space. And then if you want to go so far, you can also include the other two senses of smelling and tasting, which I also believe more and more have a tremendous profoundness and foundation in how we experience reality. For example, when you think about having a bad smelling anchor, I used to be really not really hot about formaldehyde. So me walking into a hospital, whoo, I get the heebie-jeebies, you know, the hair standing up on the back of my neck. And grandma's cookies, or oh, my grandma made this incredible cheesecake and it just, ah, oh, it brings up those waves, you know. So we can have anchors to different smells in our life. We can have anchors to different tastes. And what we really pay attention to in neuro-linguistic programming is what do you see, what do you hear, and what do you sense with your body? And that's how we communicate. So that's our language. And that's what linguistics is all about. That's a fancy word. And then P for programming. Those are our patterns. Our programs. Our beliefs, our strategies, our processing. And what's really exciting about this model is that each part influences the other aspects. So when you start changing one aspect, the other aspects also start changing. So how do you change an old pattern, an old habit that you don't want anymore? You start got to talk differently about it. You got, you got to express your different, yourself differently about it. You got to start thinking differently about it. And then guess what? You will all of a sudden start creating a new neurology connection that is going to support new patterns. And that's what's so exciting about NLP as a model, that this is what it's offering to us, that we can change our neurology, we can change our language patterns, we can change our programming, and as soon as we start one of these, it will naturally affect the other parts of the system. And then you can actually see it like a spiral, and then you go up and up and up, and you get to higher levels of happiness, higher levels of consciousness, and literally energetic vibration.